People often ask if different CAD or CAM softwares are compatible with Carbide 3D machines, and usually the answer is yes, assuming you have the right post-processor. All CNCs use G-code, but not all G-code is the same. It's just like any language where you can have regional dialects that might be perfectly acceptable to some, but rejected by others. A post-processor basically formats G-code instructions into the correct dialect for a given machine. And for people who are interested in using Vectric software like VCarve or Aspire, there is indeed a post-processor that Vectric put together that will allow the Shapeoko and Nomad to run G-code from their software. Here's how that process works. Once you've created a design and have toolpaths ready to export, hit the button to save your toolpath. In the post-processor dropdown, there should be a built-in preset for Shapeoko. Select that, hit save, and that's all there is to it. This G-code will actually work on both the Shapeoko and the Nomad, however, it behaves a little differently than what you might be used to from Carbide Create or MeshCam or Fusion. Vectrix post-processor omits the tool change command, M6, so when you first hit run, it doesn't pause and prompt you to make sure that the right tool is in the machine. It just goes straight to cutting. So make sure your end mill is off the surface of your part and your router is on before hitting start. Also, because of this quirk of the post-processor, you can't do tool changes if you're running Vectric G-code on the Nomad. Without that M6 command, it won't pause to let you insert a new end mill when the time comes. You'll have to export your toolpaths grouped by cutter in separate files just like Shapeoko users. Nonconformity aside, G-code from VCarve, Aspire, and all those other programs will work just fine on Carbide 3D machines. Hope this video clarifies any questions you might have about machine compatibility and Vectric software. Good luck and have fun machining, folks.